Hi there, my name is Arek Borucki. I am MongoDB champion and I work as principal SRE database engineer. Today, I will be talking about MongoDB Atlas, Atlas Vector Search, and the creation of the RAG application using LangChain. However, I need to create an Atlas cluster together with Vector Search Index before starting with LangChain. All right, I will be using the Atlas CLI, which is an alternative to Atlas UI and allows for programmatic interactions with the Atlas platform. As you can see, you can use Atlas CLI instead of Atlas UI. I prepared some commands. I want to create Atlas organization. MongoDB Atlas is the name of my organization. I also need to have Atlas project within this organization. I need to copy organization ID to my Atlas CLI command. Now we have Atlas organization and Atlas project, and I'm going to create Atlas cluster inside of my project. This command, Atlas cluster create, is creating now my MongoDB cluster. Vector search is the name of this cluster. I'm using GCP provider, region central US, and free tier M0. If I go now to the Atlas UI and refresh my view, I can see MongoDB Atlas organization, project inside of my organization, and also I'm able to see my new Atlas cluster, which is ready to use. However, I need to add my current IP address to the Atlas access list. And of course, I will use Atlas CLI for it. My current IP address has been added to the Atlas access list and I'm able to use my cluster. And now we can progress with LangChain. MongoDB and LangChain created the RAG Mongo template. This template makes it easy to build AI applications using MongoDB and OpenAI. I will create a chatbot that is using embeddings generated from the official MongoDB Atlas documentation accessible via REST API from LangServe. In this blog post on the MongoDB Developer Center, I explain the essential theory necessary to understand the RAG pattern, as well as the installation of LangChain templates. Please follow those easy steps. I have already done this, and I move to the export of OpenAI API key. I have already generated the key. When you watch this video, my key is not active anymore. I also have to create, with the help of the Atlas CLI, the first MongoDB Atlas database user. Also, I have to display the database connection string and create the second environment variable with the MongoDB Atlas database connection string. Now we can move to the next step and start using LangChain template. I'm going to create embeddings from the MongoDB Atlas best practices PDF document. Let me show you the PDF. As you can see, we can find plenty of useful information in this document. For example, how to scale a MongoDB Atlas cluster or how to secure MongoDB deployment. With the help of the LangChain, I'm going to convert the content of this file into embeddings and insert those embeddings together with the corresponding text into the MongoDB Atlas collection. I will execute 
ingest Python script from the Langchain template. The script will download the PDF, splits the text into chunks, and with the help of the OpenAI Embeddings API, generates embeddings and inserts them into the MongoDB Atlas collection. All right, let's go to the console. I am running now ingest Python script from the Langchain template. The script has just finished. Now I will go to the Atlas UI. We can see that the Langchain created Langchain database and vector search collection. Every document in this collection has embedding field, and it is our vector. And there is also text from the Atlas Best Practices PDF file. This text is corresponding to embedding. It is the big advantage of MongoDB that we can store embeddings together with corresponding text in one document. All right, let's create Atlas Vector Search Index now, and let's search for the similarities. I have created Vector Search Index config file. I put the collection name, database name, and index type vector together with path to the vector. We use embedding, dimensions, and similarity cosine. Now, of course, with the help of the Atlas CLI, I'm going to create Atlas Vector Search Index. Atlas Vector Search Index has just been created. Here we can see index ID and also current status in progress. Let's go back now to the Atlas UI. I go to the Atlas search part. And we can see our vector search index. The index is has not started yet. MongoDB Atlas at this moment is creating our vector search index. We need to wait a couple of seconds more. Now, initial sync has started. Our primary is active, and we are only waiting for two secondaries. And the status of our index is active. Now, we can use Atlas Vector Search, and we can start searching for similarities. I will start using now the Lang Chain MongoDB chatbot. The chatbot will answer questions related to the MongoDB Atlas class, the Atlas Vector Search Index, where we store embeddings generated from the MongoDB Atlas Best Practices document, is our single source of truth. The chatbot will convert my question into embedding and will search in the Atlas Vector Search for similar documents similar to my question, and will send those documents as a context together with the original question to the OpenAI API. The OpenAI will generate the best possible answer and will send this answer back to us. Let's check how it works in practice. I am starting now the LangServe Playground. The playground is the part of the Lang chain. Now, I will use CURL and ask first question. Does MongoDB support transactions? And the answer is yes. MongoDB supports transactions. I can also use LangServe Web UI. And I can ask a different question. How to scale MongoDB Atlas cluster? As the answer, we will get step-by-step -step procedure 
on how to scale MongoDB Atlas Cluster. Let's check steps. The Lang chain sent my question together with the context generated from the Atlas vector search query to the OpenAI API. It is a very long vector. And OpenAI generated the best possible answer and sent this answer to us. I hope you understood how the RAG pattern works and how MongoDB Atlas vector search together with the Lang chain can help you to build RAG applications. Thank you very much and I wish you a nice day.